beauty shop, but um, I just thought the word beauty was good because it seemed to be commenting on the building behind it. Bill and Linda. Well, that says it all. That was somewhere out in the desert. Somebody had started a restaurant there for a while. And, and it said steaks and chops. So that was kind of like a, somebody had a, it was a, there was a farm there and somebody had used a rock to elevate a water tank up on it so that they could have some of water pressure. Probably has a pump in it too. And uh, the writing referred to somebody who's like, well, I guess it's his first name is Lopez. I mean, that's his second name. But the whole thing, because of the way that the rock is shaped, it, it looks like a woman wearing a dress. It was alongside the road in Baja, California. There's not much there. So when you see something like this, it's probably worth stopping for. Councilman defeat the present. This was, uh, it was on a plywood fence where they were building a building or tearing one down. And, uh, but I thought that the, they were just a virtuoso job of tearing and almost seemed like it was intended to be torn. So we have a little drama in progress that possibly involves some stress and, uh, and some sadness. Um, that's the same sight, but <clears throat> divided up very severely by the billboard. That was a metal game that um, I found it in a vacant lot in somewhere in New, in New Jersey. And I, I guess it had had electric parts to it, but it obviously had been despised badly from the state it was in. And that's Pacific Coast Highway, I think. Way in the background, you can see the ocean. But someone had come along and put that sign up that points down, which is immediately suspect because what's down? What do you mean down? You can't turn down, or can you? This is in New Jersey. The white wall uh, tire that uh, is really the point of the whole thing, I guess. It's like, it's some kind of game going on, obviously. And this is the same place. That's a delivery truck junkyard in New Jersey, Secaucus, New Jersey, and um, it's just kind of a beautifully detailed, improvised piece of architecture. The theater still is still there. I, I'm pretty sure it's it is active, but I wanted to save the. Uh, the sign because I figured it would very soon be torn down, but actually it wasn't, it's still there. And that's uh, over in Burbank, that's uh, Bob's big boy, the offices. It wasn't a place where you could actually get lunch, but that's the Coca-Cola Bottling Works in Los Angeles. I guess that monument had been done probably, I should think, in the early 30s. That's a billboard up in Montana, I think, somewhere way out in the country. And that's uh, at the Pike in Long Beach, California. And there are various places that you can pay for a ride, or there's uh, all the usual 1930s, 40s, 50s era amusement park fixtures thought about what would happen if somebody said okay and everybody in all those cars just started them forward until they ran into their opposite number right in the middle of the thing. 
Blue Swan Luncheonette. That's uh, that's uh, somewhere in uh, New Jersey. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in Jersey. Three Pump Gas Station. Cats Rubber Heels. Rubber Heels, yeah. And the cat, obviously, it means business. And that's the Long Beach Pike Amusement Park in 1960. All made out of uh, sheet metal and painted bright colors and gradually peeling and becoming less attractive. It's a, it's a, it's a label that somebody put up to uh, implore you not to throw your razor blades in the toilet because it gives the plumber a hell of a hard time getting it out. This is on a amusement pier up in Santa Cruz, California. And it's begun to have some serious paint peeling problems. It looks a bit like a big dick. Pinking shears. I guess there are specialists in pinking shears. This is part of downtown LA that's completely gone now. It's that was shot in New Jersey. That's the whole side of a windowless building. It's very, very large. So the truck, I'll bet, is probably 20 feet high. And that's a similar site in New Jersey. Max's Lumberyard. Max, Max. Lumber and the saw and the gas pumps. Commit no nuisance. Ordinance number such and such. This was in a a neighborhood of uh, rooming houses, and it was pretty pretty poverty stricken. This right at the head of the. Uh, of the old railway that used to used to go up to the top of Bunker Hill. This is a man uh, running for some office. I think his name is Edmund Royball. And obviously somebody didn't uh, didn't like his stuff. So what is this? I think this is London. And that was a wooden fence that apparently had been taken apart and, and the slats the post put back in, but without reference to where they had been originally. So it was an automatic uh, kind of uh, scrambling process that was going on. Go. And that's 14th Street in New York. S. Klein on the square. I don't know what S. Klein was. It seems like it might have been a, a hardware store or something. 66 Cadillac Point, Coupe de Ville. The owner was nowhere around. The car had sustained some pretty serious damage. The whole front end was gonna have to be pulled off and straightened. The owner was gone. This was a Mexican restaurant, but apparently the uh, the rooster had had lost his uh, his function as a sign, and so along came a man who wanted to be in the Congress, uh, who put his poster on top of it. That was in a little town in Colorado. The sign had held up remarkably well. Four hours day. Beats me.